Street scene in Chicago. People going about their business. Someday, God forbid, the sirens atop key buildings in our major cities may sound in earnest, not as a test alert. If that terrible day ever comes, let's pray that the sirens give us the warning in time. At companies like Federal Sign and Signal Corporation, there are men and women devoted to the job of making sure that we do learn about approaching danger in time. They are the people who make for ambulances, police cars, fire engines and rooftops, the lights and horns and sirens that spread the word. Big or small, their products all have the same purpose, telling everyone to look out. Here, one of the smaller rotors or choppers is tested for balance. A siren makes noise when its cutter blades chop through the air. The higher the speed of the blades, the higher the pitch. The company does everything possible to hold down noise in the place, but in spite of that, no one here has any doubt that he's working in a siren factory. On this model, the chopper will be powered by a 10 horsepower electric motor. An automatic timer causes the siren to give out the different kinds of signals specified by civil defense authorities. Three minutes of undulating up and down the scale for attack and a one minute continuous blast repeated three times for all clear. A horn-like projector concentrates the sound waves in a directional beam making the siren audible at great distances. The speed at which the projector rotates is adjustable. A double-walled, heavily insulated test chamber is used to try out each completed unit. But such a blast of noise is generated that plenty of sound still leaks through. Horns, lights, and sirens. Too bad we need them, but since we do, thank heavens we have them. <laughs> 